So hi guys, a change again. This is the latest toy to come from the house of Nokia. Uh, it's called the X1. It's a twin sim. Nokia. Made in India. So uh, going back to different places now with Nokia where they're making them. We'll uh, give it a little look. Small Sony dual band. Uh -huh, let me just do the pin. Only one SIM card in here at the moment. And according to the blah blah blah, MP3, 16 gigabytes um, support on the drive, 106 decibel sound, 1.8 um, TFT screen, 35 millimeter AV adapter which is uh, there you see it not sure about the uh, memory card or if there is one I'm not sure on that at the moment so as you see mess of uh, menu again same old Nokia things version 536 and uh, I'm sure everybody knows the uh, Nokia warranty menu which is 92702689 which stands for war o anti warranty serial made 07 2011 repaired no lifetime a zero so if you go into a shop and you buy a new one you want to check it's not made any calls or uh, you're being lied to check in check the warranty uh, menu it's for you then you can see uh, if it is genuinely uh, a new one games mm, select snake Sudoku, beach rally music league keyboard master tone wizard so you see it's only a little thing BL5J. People who know me will uh, remember that I was known for an awful long time as Nokia Simon. Uh, and uh, the people who call me that know the reason why. Comes with a headset, little scruffy box. Do you see just a uh, dual band? Dual band, two IMEI numbers, because obviously running twin SIMs, you need two uh, electronic identities. Come in a number of colors, so I'm told. Work out uh, around the um, 50 euro mark, roughly. Seems that uh, under the uh, mess of uh, Stephen uh, Elop, Nokia. Uh, all their things seem to be uh, not really uh, as they should be, in my opinion. And like many others, it's pretty obvious that he was sent there uh, as, uh, what should we say, Microsoft's bitch to uh, bring the company to uh, Microsoft cheaply. That's the uh, consensus of the industry and many others. And why make in India? It can only be just through cheapness because uh, you can uh, use Nokia and Kamaron in Hungary to make phones. But they wanted a union and uh, heaven forbid they wanted uh, rights. So uh, it seems that factory is closing. So uh, not really the best. But dual band, two SIM cards working at the same time. That's better than the first version, which couldn't manage it. But uh, Nokia is still uh, about five years behind Samsung, who already had this done with the uh, dual phones. Extras, reminders, calculators, calendar, flashlight demo, blah, blah, blah. Same old stuff in a different case with twin SIMs. Useful if you're a traveler and use a home SIM and a... Uh, a sim for holiday or whatnot. 
so uh, that's a good thing definitely for me myself yeah I like the idea of a twin sim if you really for going abroad it's uh, useful so the Roman charges uh, don't kill you but um, not a bad little thing price wise yeah it's not too bad but um, I think Nokia can do better and I'm sure they know they can do better as well and one last time for the people who want to know the uh, service menu 9270 works in all Nokia's including Symbia Mana where you just get given a uh, t life timer but on all the other ones it goes through the uh, info so you can see if it's been repaired although not many people put it in there we can edit the purchasing date and uh, put in there 08 2011 that's now saved in the menu and we'll stay there but in the meantime there you go Nokia X1 dual band dark grey twin sim made in India new phone on the market